The mayor's office every month issues a document of um, the areas that have been abused by film shoots in the last month, two months, three months. It really comes down to, I think, who's calling 311 and complaining about films. Um, and so as a film comes into an area and, be and becomes kind of an overused area that gets a lot of complaints, it becomes a hot zone and the mayor's office doesn't want you to shoot on that hot zone. If you want to shoot on the edge of a hot zone, it becomes a riskier thing because it's not in the hot zone, but it's right where you might be right on, on the cusp of it. Um, and it could literally be the, you know, the east side of one street is on a hot zone, but the west side is not. Know the area that you're in. Um, I like to personally, after the scouts go out and I figure out where we're going to shoot our film, really take the time and just kind of learn learn the area a little bit. I mean, I, I don't know deep Brooklyn very well. I don't know Inwood very well. But if I film there, I know it like the back of my hand. Um, and it's good to have your scouts know it and your LM know it, but you need to kind of know where you are because it, it just helps you kind of understand what you can and cannot pull off and, and, and makes you kind of a stronger person of knowing kind of where you are in NYC. Um, uh, I personally do a lot of scouting myself, um, just on my time off, just driving around, checking things out. Um, I think surrounding yourself with just great people, um, which New York has an, a tremendous amount of, is always is always key as well. I mean, there's there's talented people, there's people who are you know talented and fun, there's young people, there's old people, and I think just figuring out like the energy that you want to be surrounded for on your set and really trying to kind of cast your crew. Um, find the people who make sense for this film and, and really handpick as many of them as you can so it's the most positive experience that you can have.